Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Le crié de problèmes sont arrivés dans notre pays, Cotonou, à Bénin République. Ils sont arrivés ici pour créer beaucoup de problèmes dans notre tête. Pour changer le manèque en pensée, la chose. Pour encourager les gens qui sont à l'école et les autres qui sont déjà sortis. Dieu merci. 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 Pour changer le manèque en pensée, la chose. Mettez votre sécurité et ceinture parce que quelque chose va nous aider. I came here to cause trouble. I came here to provoke your thinking. And I'm going to provoke your thinking. They celebrate medical practitioners, they celebrate aeronautic engineers, but everybody forget the most important profession is the profession of a teacher. And I want to celebrate every teacher that is here. Please let us appreciate them. How many of you students, you know, graduating and matriculating would like to succeed? And if you are in the crowd, how many of you like to succeed in this life? It's important that you acknowledge it. I would like to tell you a few things about what I have here. Now, there's a particular airport called the Gatwick Airport. The Gatwick Airport has broken records over and over and over and over again. The particular record it breaks is that it is one single airport that has the most amount of passengers on a single runway. It is said that that particular airport has an average of 42 million people. It flies every year. No other airport in the world does that. And guess what? Now, Nigeria has 31 airports. 26 of them are managed by the FAN authorities. Five of them are international airports. But if you put all those airports together and then compare it with the Gatwick International Airport, they don't stand a chance. And I looked at it. If 42 million people fly that airport every year, and as a businessman, and they spend 10,000 naira every day, equivalent of maybe 12,000 sefas, every single person, that means in one year, that particular airport will be making 420 billion naira, equivalent of 400 and 60 billion sefas. And guess what? That airport is owned by a Nigerian in diaspora. The name of that Nigerian is Mr. Adebayo Ogunlese. He graduated from KC in Lagos State and is from Shagamu origin. That man is the owner of that airport. There is nothing wrong with your location. There's always something wrong with our brain. If we can change the way we think, we can change our address. It is interesting to know that the medical profession is one of the things that I revere so much. If there's any medical person here, I salute you because I don't know. After God, I believe he's a doctor because how they are able to touch human beings and manipulate and structure things like that in their body always gives me a creep in my body. Last year, a particular woman went to the hospital and when she got to the hospital, they told her that her baby was having issue because she was doing antenatal. So when they checked the x-ray, they said that the baby had a lump in the head and all they needed to do was they needed to operate this woman or she had to evacuate this baby from the woman and before they signed everything they said okay they brought a special doctor the doctor had to cut open this woman and when he cut open this woman he cut open her womb and cut open her womb then brought the baby out and cut the baby's head and removed the lump I was shaking when I heard this thing because the baby was only 23 weeks old and that operation happened they cut open this woman they cut open her womb and then they remove the baby, cut the baby up, remove the lump and then they fix the baby back and they sew the baby, put the baby back in the womb and then close the womb back, put it in the stomach and close the stomach up and the baby had to stay in the womb for 13 more weeks and after that the baby became born again. I dare say that when I was looking at this story I was afraid and guess what, the doctor that operated on this baby is a Nigerian, Oluyinka Olutoye. 
There is nothing wrong with you, nothing wrong being a Nigerian. And all these Nigerians are in diaspora. I dare say that if God has allowed you to come to Benin to study, there is a reason why you are here. It is not by accident you are in SK. There is a reason you must fulfill your purpose. Go through the school and let the school go through you. Maybe because the future will need you to speak French a little more. I wish I was diligent to study more French. I would have been happy, but I'm happy that at least if I come here, I can say, please give me Jus de Pont. No, Jus de Pont. Jus de Pont. Apple juice is what I like. And guess what? At a particular point in time, there is a particular game they call Mechamon. Mechamon is sold by Apple Computer, Apple product. Apple is the only one that sells that gaming robot. And guess what? The person that made that gaming robot is the highest paid robotic engineer in the world. Highest paid robotic engineer. For you to go and buy Mechamon, you must pay $300, equivalent of 108000 naira, and you can only find it in Apple Store. The person that created that particular gaming robot is a Nigerian. His name is Silas Adekule, born in 1992. He is a 27-year-old boy, created something, and it is not. Your problem is not Nigeria. Your problem is your thinking. If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. I went to secondary school in Federal Government College in Janiki, Lagos. And every time I was in school, during the inter-house sport, we, le we used to play games. High jump, long jump, triple jump. And some of you are, are good in all those things. I remember that in those days, it was houses. I was in Red House, which they call Odudua. Then they had Moremi House, they had Danfodio House, and different. You can win the inter-house sport, but there's a particular game you dare not win. And that is the 100-meter senior boys. Because 100 meters senior boy shows the fastest boy in the whole school. How many of you ever did that race wherever you were in secondary school? 100 meters senior boy. You can win short put. You can win long jump. You can win triple jump. But dare not win 100 meters senior boy. Because 100 meters senior boys is the race of dignity. Whoever won that race is considered the fastest boy in the whole school. And guess what? Now, and that race, anytime they run it, it's called the race of dignity. After they run that race, then they bring the fathers who are 50 years old, 60 years old, with big stomachs. Some of us have gotten to that level with our stomachs that have increased. It is not because I did it. It's because food has entered my level and that is it. So that race is for entertainment. And guess what? That same race, 100 meters senior boys, is for dignity. But when the fathers run it, it is for entertainment. That same race is for dignity. That same race is for entertainment. I dare say if you're a young man here, between the ages of 18 to 25 or, tw or 30 years, Years old. If you don't run the race of dignity now, you'll be somebody's entertainment tool tomorrow. You'll be somebody's entertainment tool tomorrow. In school, you always write exams. And when you pick up that exam paper, one of the things that it, you see on top is that you will see faculty, faculty, maybe management and social sciences. You will see department, economics and business administration. You will also see course title, maybe corporate finance, course code, maybe BUS 408. And then you will see the duration, 45 minutes. Now, you will also see a small note, instruction. And in that instruction, it says there that a total of five questions must be properly answered out of eight, given with supporting proofs and cases and diagram. Answer question one, which carries 40 marks in bracket and all others has 20 marks. Now a young man wrote that exam and then his result came out and he came out with an F. He knew what he had written, so he petitioned the school, wrote to the vice chancellor. The vice chancellor called a panel, let them sit and they had a meeting in Senate. The boy came, he presented, they showed him his, his question, his answer sheet and he got number two, he got it correct, number three, correct, number four, correct, number five, correct, number six, correct, number Number seven, he even did number eight. How come he got failure inside? People in life forget the instruction. The instruction says answer question one, which carries 40 marks. Question two, question three, question four, question five. All carries five, five marks. I dare say that and your ignorance to the instruction of life does not exonerate you from the punishment between. Life has instructions and you must follow the instructions according to the precept. There was a video that was going around about some talkies that were crossing the road. And then this video was all over. They were rolling up and down. You were like 10 talkies. So a car stopped on this side and some other car. Somebody was videoing this 
these turkeys and they were crossing the road. I, 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 I watched this video. Some of you must have seen that video. Ten turkeys crossing the road in Hampshire in London. I had a problem with it. Now, if it was a lion that was crossing the road, I will not shout. If it was an alligator that was crossing the road, I will not shout. If it was a tiger or an elephant, I will not shout. But not Tolo Tolo, not turkey. How can a turkey pass in front of me and then I will stop on the way? My brother, that turkey is not yet alive. I will eat that turkey miraculously. But guess what? Over four, seven, four million people were watching that turkey online. Four million people were watching Turkey online. The car that was standing there became popular. The road became popular. The city of Hampshire became popular because four Turkeys in 44 seconds were able to take over this whole world. Listen to me, young people. What can you do in your local government? What can you do in this school? What can you do in this world positively that will give SK, that will give your local government a name above every other name? That's what you need to think about. Your life is about making impacts. Your life is about making impacts. Your life is about making impacts. When you eat food that is good, your life grows well, your body grows well. But if you eat food that is bad, you become sick. So also, if the values you take and you follow are good values, you become productive in life. If the values you follow, you choose to hold, are destructive, you will become a thief. Be careful who you choose as a mentor. Because whenever you see the glory on anybody, ask for the story. Anybody that does not have a story, his glory is fake. Stop looking at the G-Wagon. Stop looking at the S-Class. Stop looking at what they're driving. Ask the person, tell me the story behind your glory. If the person does not have that story, you dare not go near him. One of my mentors, his name is Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The man on the, 20, on the 17th of October 2017 sent a tweet and said, I'm appointing ministers by 5 p.m. He sent out by 5 p.m. a tweet, and then on one of those tweets, he put down my friend's name, Oman bin Sultan Al Olama, as the Minister for Artificial Intelligence, a 27-year-old boy. Now, when I was reading the boy's job description, artificial intelligence, he had a mandate to prepare how Dubanians will live in planet Mars in the year 2117. You did not hear me. He was appointed in the year 2017, a 27-year-old boy, that he should plan and design how indigenous of their local government, indigenous of their villages, will be living in planet Mars in the year 2117, 100 years advanced. His vision was not for today. His vision was not for four years. His vision was for 100 years. That boy was 27 years old. In 100 years' time, he will not be alive to see that vision. The, the king that was giving him that instruction is 64 years old. He will not be alive to see that vision. But their thoughts were not for now. Their thoughts were for their next generation. Life is not about election. Life is about generations. I need you to get it right from beginning. I need you to get it right. I came here to cause trouble. I came here to provoke your thinking and I'm going to provoke your thinking. I salute all the politicians that have come from the north. I know it is not easy, I entered that road. You flew down from Kaduna, you landed in Lagos, you entered that wicked road that will break a little part of your body. You came all the way to Nigeria, but I came to challenge you. Yes, we may have made mistakes, okay, fine. I cannot keep talking about mistakes because I need to make some announcements to you. Guess what, the Le Chad Basin that feeds four countries, it has receded in the last few years by 90 so four countries cannot have water in the next few years. So because of that now, everybody that is food that they make in the north, all the pepper, all the tomatoes, every food stuff that you had, now there's a challenge because now all the people that are farming do not have enough water to farm. Their cows have started migrating to the south, to the south, and there's a challenge because when people do not plan, they have all these issues that you have, that communal clash and every single thing. Tomorrow, food scarcity is going to start. How ready are you to defend your country? How ready are you? What plans do you have? Because my goodness, I'll be old at that point in time. My bones will be weak. What about you? You need to plan. How will you feed 250 million people that will be born in that place? Say, I hear you. Mm, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. 
Jack Ma, the richest man in China, said, let me tell you, 800 million jobs will be taken by the year 2030. He said, tell your children, your competition is not your neighbor. Your competition is technology. Technology is here to stay. The work my mobile phone can do, it has taken the jobs of 10 men. When technology comes, it displaces poor thinking. You need to understand, how do you improve yourself now? How do you take over the challenge of technology, taking over jobs? Because as SK is preparing for, war, for the world, you need to prepare yourself for the world as well. Robots are taking over the jobs every single way. Very soon when you send an application, they will tell you human beings are expired because it is time. How hungry are you? How hungry are you? Elon Musk is a 47-year-old boy. He stopped complaining about the ozone layer when they were saying that the ozone layer was deficient. He built a car called the Tesla model. That car does not use fuel. That car uses battery. Over 350,000 of those cars were produced and sold. Every single brand of car you know has an electric version. China said they have made 25% of the cars electric and every single country is moving to electric. If your plan is to sell fuel in 10 years time, it will be a problem because cars will not be using fuel anymore. And it is written there that no matter how bad the recession is in the forest, a lion will never eat grass. I came to talk to hungry lions that are here. Whether you're a Nigerian or whether you're a Beninoan, whether you're from anywhere in Africa, Africa belongs to us. It is our responsibility to build Africa. If you want results in, in three months, go and plant corn. Yes, corn, you will eat it in three months. But if you want results in one year, go and plant yam. You will roast it, you will cook it, you will eat it. But if you want results of a lifetime, you need to start building men. I challenge every single one of us that are here, as much as SK is doing this, hold one young man's hand or one young woman's hand. Help them to become better so tomorrow they can build our country, both the Benoit Republic and also the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My name is Ubon King and I'm just a boy. Thank you and have a fantastic day. Because you seriously, my course of study in SK. Abide to the rules and regulations of the university and contribute in every way to foster the unity of the nation, of peace and progress. I hereby resolve to respect the rights of every member of the university community. Conduct our affairs at all times with decorum. Please raise the bar. Uphold the principles and values of the university and my country always. I hear my pledge to obey all the rules, regulations and laws enacted by the constituted authority of the university for the good of the community. So help me God.